Welcome to our family workshop. If you're new here, this is Thomas the Woodcarver. Hi, so welcome. And I am Di Love Spoons. And what we're introducing for you today is the start of what we're hoping will become a series on our YouTube channel. To introduce it straight away, it is the Scrap Wood Challenge. And in this envelope, I've got the rules of our first round of the Scrap Wood Challenge. So I'm gonna pass it across to Thomas the Woodcarver and he's gonna read out the rules that we're using. So you made the rules? The rules have been made. Oh, right, so Dave has made the rules, so... I'm not saying I've made any rules, but the rules are made. Make a Mother's Day present from a single scrap piece of wood, measuring 9.5 centimeters by 9.5 centimeters. Well, the straightaway is a bias here for Dave because of course I work in inches. Well, there we are. We just measured it for you. It's three and three quarter inches, roughly. Well, that'll be much easier for me. There we go. Well, this here, these are little scraps of wood that we've got. So there's one for you. Yo. And there's one for me. And what we're going to do, we're both going to design a project that is this size only. I'm actually going to stack cut mine because it means that we end up with three of these items when we cut it out. But the project can only be the size of this single piece. We also want you to get involved. We want you to help us out because at the end of this, in the comment section, we want you to share with us which of the projects is your favourite. We're going to do it completely anonymously, so you won't know which is which, but at the end you'll have a chance to vote for your favourite item. Hello. Have you got any thoughts? Got any ideas? Mother's Day projects? You're not going to be upset when you lose. Oh, you see, we see what happens. We're going to develop this as well, we hope, and it's going to become an ongoing series. Uh, we're hoping that there'll be several videos. We put it all together. There's going to be a scrap wood challenge trophy. There'll be a leaderboard. And the winner of the most rounds will be the winner of the Love Spoon Workshop Scrap Wood Challenge. What we'd also do, all of the projects, we will do templates and designs. We put them on the website. So if you want to make any of them, you'll be able to have a go at making them. You'll get one month after the video is published to vote for your favourite item. And then we'll announce in the live stream the winner. Just one. Could we add, you know, little bits? You can Possibly. add, yeah, you can add little accessories. Oh, can little, you shellac it and you can shellac it, all bunion, of these things, you know? but it must be the size of that one single piece of scrap wood. But that's the rules for the first scrap wood project. Oh, right. There's okay. going to be other ones. There's right. going to be more to come. Yeah. There we are. But when I win, you probably will want to do it. Well, then it may be the last video we do. Yeah. There we go. There we are. Very good. We'll have a go, Dave. Right, so we get into it. Let's have a little think, let's get some designs sorted out. So to start the process off when making our items for our scrap wood challenge is to get the design sorted out. So we've drawn around our scrap piece of wood onto a piece of paper. We then prepare lines that we will use for drawing half of a heart onto. You then fold the page over, use either a light box or a window to complete the design. This will be then turned into a photo frame and key ring combination. The other design then we've done, we have a bird design and that will be stuck onto a base and we are going to make a simple garden bird design candle holder. So those are going to be our two products then. We're going to have a candle holder and a picture frame and key ring combination. Cut everything out in preparation for sticking onto our scrap woods. To stick our designs onto the wood itself, what we do, we wet the wood slightly. We then put PVA glue on and stick the design onto the wood itself. Once that design has dried out, we are using stack cutting as a method here. So stacking together different layers of woods. And the reason for this, it allows us to cut out more layers at a time. 
Using our pillar drill and a fine drill bit, we drill a pilot hole that will be used for cutting out the heart shaped gap and the key ring for our first project. We then go across to our other pillar drill and we use that to drill out the holes that will be used for doing our pierce work in and around our garden birds. We use our belt sander to sand the back of each project nice and flat so it'll be easier for us to scroll saw. Now I'm changing our scroll saw blade straight away and the reason for this we want it to be cutting nice and cleanly so a brand new blade will give us the best quality cuts. Start off with all of that pierce work so we're cutting the outline in and around our garden bird that is holding onto the branch so take away all of that pierce work and then the same on our other project, our key ring and picture frame combination. We are using that to cut out that heart shape of the key ring and the heart shape gap for the picture frame. We then go back across to the other project and we're cutting all of the outlines and the surround. So we're just cutting that outline for the base the surround of the garden bird feature and a little piece that will go at the front of the candle to hold it in place afterwards. After this, we go back to the other project once more and we sand on our belt sander, but on the other attachment of our belt sander, the four sides nice and smooth to give us a more refined finish for the outline of our picture frame. Now the beauty with that project, we're using 99% of the wood that we have started with. We then go across to our workbench and proceed with the hand carving of the project. So we're using a variety of different shaped fingernail gouges and we get depth and detail and different layers into our garden bird design. This is probably where we actually spend the most amount of time working on these individual projects. Once again, we re-establish our lines, so draw from the corners of our picture frame. And the reason for this, we are gonna add simple little flowers to add some extra decoration to the design we mark out where they are going to be positioned. Our key ring, we also add a simple little flower design and a modern contemporary style heart. Again, adding interest and character to the design. Back across to our belt sander. And the first part that we're using the belt sander is the attachment on the side to smooth off any rough edges that need extra work after scroll sawing for our candle holder. We also use our belt sander then to refine everything on a higher grade grit, ready for the hand finishing. We use the pillar drill for our key ring to drill a hole, and then we use our router that we have on a frame just to take off the sharp edge of the picture frame. Again, this is refining the finish that we use. Onto the workbench once more, I'm using our Starbond Super Glue. We add the accelerant to the bird feature section, a line of super glue to the base, and the same for that little piece at the front of our candle holder, and stick the project together. Three coats then of shellac sanding sealer on all three of our projects, rubbing it down in between each coat, and then a finishing coat of linseed oil mixed with beeswax. The key ring, we add a little clip, so we're using our pliers just to squeeze a triangular clip with a round circle into. We then finish off our picture frame by adding a little hanger onto the back. We then add three little pins at an angle, and this can be used later on to slide our picture into, finishing off our photo frame. We have to prepare the photo for the photo frame. So we then work out how we're gonna cut it, cutting it to size and checking it inside the frame as we go. And that then brings us to the conclusion of making our scrap wood challenge items. So there you have it. Those are our scrap wood challenge finished items. Now, if you wanna vote on your favorite, Get it in the comment section, vote 
photo for the photo frame and key ring, or vote candle for the candle holder. As a little bonus as well, what we're going to do, we're going to randomly pick out one winner and we will send our little key ring as a prize. So how are you feeling? Are you confident? Yeah, but <clears throat> there'll be two winners, of course. There'll be... Well, there'll be the Scrapwood winner. Yeah, which is me. Well, then we'll, we'll see. Uh, it's and confidence. There's, there's the winner then of the uh, little key ring, isn't it? There we go. So there we go. Get those comments yeah. into the comment section. Any other thoughts as well? Any other questions? Let us know. And as always, thank you again for watching. Yeah, thank you for voting for my project. <laughs>